engineer man Turn your train around My baby's on there She's southern bound But how long Has that been slight version of the blues classic How Low and I was inspired by a British uh, blues guitarist called uh, Jim Crawford for this version and in the performance video I played an electric guitar or electrified guitar Gibson L50 and it was tuned down to uh, C sharp so open C sharp which is the same as open D tuning but a half step lower. For ease of learning, I tuned this guitar to open D. But it's a tad high uh, to sing for me. That's why I uh, played it even lower in the performance video. This is a video for the tap impaired person, so no tap, and I will try to explain everything nice, slow, and easy. So tune down to uh, open D tuning, D. A, D, F sharp, A, D. So you have three Ds, two A's, and an F sharp. All right, let's start with the introduction. So I'm sliding with the fingers to the 7th fret and the 8th fret, bending the 2nd string. So, triplet, triplet, and I add the pinky to the 9th fret. Hammer 
on the second string, second fret. Also a triplet. All right, the whole thing one more time. And I may have played like that, not a triplet. At the end of that first phrase, second fret, second string open and slide to the fifth fret on the second and the third string. Wait a beat, hit it. Well, strings five, four, and three, and play with the middle and the index very shortly to open the second and third string. So that phrase. And slide up to the uh, fifth fret on the third and fourth string. Fourth string, slide to the third fret. Fifth string, open second, and then another phrase. Second fret, triplet. This is another triplet, and another triplet, and to the A chord. Fifth string open, second fret, open, first fret, second fret. That's an A chord. So uh, taking the performance video, I I fumbled here a little bit, but well, it works. Uh, <clears throat> this is just one of the versions. The reason that I didn't write it out is, uh, well, that leaves some, uh, some room for improvisation, of course. So, that A chord. Slide the thing up. And play only the first and the third string. I use the same turnaround the whole song, I think, which is going down on the fifth string and going up on the third string. And you can do, of course, a lot of variations. In combination with the open first string. So that's it for the introduction. And we're ending after the turnaround with an A chord. That's also uh, what I almost forgot, that little bass run. That precedes the A chord. Fourth fret, sixth string, open fifth, 2nd fret, 5th uh, string, and open 5th. And you see, I'm starting to sing the first line, <coughs> or the first phrase, over that Mr. Engineer Man. And then I play that fill on the 7th fret, 8th fret, which we did in the introduction. So, Mr. Engineer Man, turn your train around. So the fills after the sung phrase are something like this, but you can 
Oh, of course you can do variation. Whatever you can do with those two notes. And the same here, which is a D7, third fret, third fret on the second and the third string. And the open you can. Also notice that the bass is heavily muted. The typical country blues bass played open and then muted. And sometimes I do it percussively. You can hear that in the, the performance video. Mr. Engineer Man, turn your train around. And sometimes I and I do typical. Well, I think I learned that from uh, Lightning Hopkins. That fourth string open and then to the fifth, just as, as a sort of a transition chord. And then we uh, turn your train around. So I start to sing already when I play that D, D7 there. Turn your train around. My baby's on the air. So when there, then I start the bar, uh, <clears throat> the G chord. Just a bar, you can use your second finger to keep uh, the strings down. And I, I play the bass very strongly, more as one string of course, and then the third string, fifth fret. So, Let's uh, recapitulate where <coughs> we were. Uh, Mr. Engineer Man, turn your train around. My baby's on the She's southern bound. And in between, you can also maybe down there. You can play an open note, a D note, doesn't matter which one, the sixth or the fifth, the fourth string. But how long? So I'm singing already how long when I'm still with that uh, G chord there, that bar. And the long is on the open. String there. So let's uh, do that again. My baby's on the air. She's southern bound. Well, how long? And then I do, well, every verse a different fill. Uh, and you can slide to the fourth fret. Or three and a half fret, open, slide up and down, and to the fifth fret, second string, like that. Mm -hmm. And how long has that even? And what I often do has that. A triplet of open strings has that evening to the uh, A chords. Has that evening, but softly, not like that. Da, 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 da. Has that evening. And then I. Has that evening, then we have a little bit of room. I put my uh, pinky on the second string, third string. Bend and open. Had that even train been down and on gone right back on the D. And we do the turnaround. You can do a different turnaround, of course. A very simple one is. Mom. 
Another bass run. Third fret, open sixth, third fret, open fifth, third fret, open fourth, third fret, open second, fifth fret, and to the A chord. First, I didn't have that even train. Been gone. I kept on playing on the over the A chord. All right. Then we have the first solo. Hammer on. I might have done like that. Start to the three and a half frets. I'll explain that in another video. It's a bluesier sound. It imitates more like this, while the fourth fret is more neutral, it's, it's less bluesy. Going up. Five, six, seven, open and, and the third fret and the D seven. And then I went to the the fifth fret. I can't exactly remember what I did. I stayed maybe two beats, three beats on the fifth fret and then went down. So the third fret open and then the fifth fret. And then a lick there, third fret, second fret. Trip fret, triplet, third fret, second fret, first and second string and bending. Again, a lot of variations are possible there. And then I went to the seventh fret. After how long, I did something like that, which is the same positions as in the introduction, 7th and 8th fret. And then we have the second solo. So I'm going to the 12th fret on the, I slide up on the 2nd string, and then followed by the, and then 2 triplets, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 12, then open, slide up, 2nd then 3rd string, and then going down, 10, 11, 
oh sorry, 12, 11, 10, and... And then I go to the 5th fret and stay. And do a little bit between the 5th and the 2nd strain. Slide up to the 8th fret. And you could add the 1st string as well. core of what follows on the first string. Da, da, da. Slide up to the second string seventh fret and it's important here that you mute that first string otherwise you get this. This will ring and I don't want that. It's cleaner like that and that uh, that you can do by using your second finger to play the first string and the moment that you slide up you rest your middle finger on the first string so it kills the sound. That's a more uh, used phrase and where that and muting is also important. And that's because your home bass is on the second string, while, for example, on the in open G tuning, it's on the first string. By the way, everything you know in open G tuning, you can play in open D tuning only on strings one step or one string higher than uh, towards your face. Uh, the same figures, I mean. All right. Uh, the turn around but the second time I stopped there and going up to the seventh fret ninth fret mute well and that's it I hope you enjoyed this lesson have fun